Hello and welcome back to the workshop and today we're going to be talking about training inserts for this. Oh, sorry. Yes, um, as promised, the Fürte Einsatz and also the TE90 um, primer conversion. So, these two have been uh, generously loaned to me by uh, a friend and um, so thanks to him I can make this video. Thanks Jeff. So we'll start with the direct ancestor of the Leonard TE90 set. This is a current production item. So on the box we have a nice six meter target achieved on the machine rest. So again, something to aim for. We've got a nice set of pictorial instructions, written instructions, recommended target, so a 10 meter air rifle target and the contents. So we have a box of pellets. These are special pellets, but in fact they're H&N 22 bullets, so really nothing special. Remington large rifle. Um, these are the ones original to the pack, so since they're not mine I shall leave them. I'll be using CCI 300, which are uh, compatible as per the instructions. We have a set of tools, a cleaning rod, decapping pin, a uh, pokey needle that so you can poke out a pellet from the cases should you need to, allen key that's for the sights, and a cleaning brush. So we have six cases because the Swiss love multiples of six when it comes to ammunition. And these are steel, 223 shape, GP90. And they have a primer pocket, which just has a rim large enough to retain the primer and also secure the anvil, so you get a good ignition. You have a uh, seating tube in the mouth here, which uh, into which you push in the pellet just with fingers, like so. So with the primer on there, you're good to go. And then you have a very important sighting ring. Now, the instructions are great because it's a very indicative of the shooting tradition. It assumes that you have a diopter on your 300 meter setting of the drum, which is probably true. So it asks you to remove this, set your sights to 100, and slip on this ring. Over the top, and then doing a couple of test shots, you can adjust for elevation and windage, and then once you're happy, clamp down the grub screw, and you're good to go. Now it does mention that you can, of course, use the adjustment screws on the sights, but then it says that uh, then you'll lose your 300 meter settings, so uh, best to set up the ring. Now, of course, this is your uh, service rifle, most probably. Uh, you don't want to mess up the paint job. So they thought of that. And there is a little plastic cap on the end of the grub screw so that uh, you don't scratch the finish on the drum. Now, these cartridges are loaded shot by shot. No magazine feeding. Um, I'm guessing they wouldn't feed anyway. And you'd probably bugger up the uh, rim of these cases when you're trying to shove them into the chamber anyway from a mag, so single shot only. Right, um, I'll uh, load some of these up and uh, probably have a couple of shots to set up the sight ring and then uh, do six in earnest. See you in the hayloft.
So, here we are. Not too shabby at all. Bit of a low one on the first shot, and then uh, it tightened up. So, it's a great thing. It works. Um, far less smoke than uh, the old lean hard system, of course, but it comes at a price. Um, it says in these instructions that you just uh, push in the primer and uh, knock the cartridge on a hard surface and you're ready to go. That's not entirely true. It's a very tight fit, just like any uh, normal brass cartridge for reloaders. And you really need you know, at least a uh, lead primer or something like that, or, or a press to set the, uh, the primer in. By the way, I said it was a large rifle, it's large pistol primers. Uh, and the same goes when you've finished. Um, it's got, you've got this uh, decapping pin, which is nicely knurled, so you can have a good grip, but there's no way you're going to knock them out. So you either need to put the case on, on a little wooden block with a hole in it and uh, tap it through with a mallet, uh, or again, use a universal decapping die or something. So it's not something like the Leonard that you can just do without any extra tools um, and reload quickly. The fact that the primer's seat uh, as a cartridge would means that it's, it's much more hassle. But very good fun and, and pretty accurate. Again, this is up to about 10 meters, I reckon. So we've done that. Now let's go to my favorite, which is the Furta. Right, here we are. It comes in a very nice, pretty wooden box. Now Furta was already known for producing um, 300 meter free target rifles. Um, they also did some 2.2 Schmidt Rubin conversions um, and also dedicated small bore rifles. So they weren't new to the area of uh, small bore precision. Anyway, this was the brainchild of one of their employees, Mr. Dobler. Apparently it was one of these uh, sketches on a napkin at lunchtime, um, done in the late 80s. And uh, it got the full support of the employer and they went ahead and, and developed it. So it was a very generous of Mr. Furter. Anyway, in the system we have a box of pellets. They're the same style as in uh, the previous set. We have a nice reserve of 12 gram CO2 cartridges, Allen key for setting the cartridges inside the breech block, and a uh, dedicated diopter. So, you see, this is a breech block which completely replaces the one in the gun. And uh, you have in the bottom here a firing pin or rather valve stem, which when struck by the hammer, allows a dose of CO2 to travel through and into the back of this cartridge dummy, which is made of plastic. And the very clever setup is when you pull the, and if you pull and lock the breech block back, the cartridge dummy tilts and pokes out of the ejection window. And then you can just seat a pellet. And then you can uh, drop the breech slowly and uh, this bit gets chambered and ready for firing. It's as simple as that. Right, let's go ahead and do just that. So for installing it, we need to remove the breech block. Now first I'm gonna remove the cocking handle. This by the way, is a non-standard cocking handle. This is a home chap production. And then we open the lower and just pop out the real thing. And then this just pushes in the back. And you just need to lift the cartridge insert out past one point. You can see here the uh, end of the gas piston. So there's a notch here which lines up with the slot in the breech. 
So you've got to make sure they line up. There you go. Cocking handle back in. And there we go. So as I said, you've got to use the uh, bolt stop in conjunction. So then you open the breech, bolt stop there. And there you go, see the cartridge is ready. Just pop in a pellet. Now, the reason I said you've got to drop the bolt slowly is because um, well, you've got a full-size recoil spring in here, and if you release it too quickly, there's a chance that the very light plastic insert here won't snap back fast enough, and we get jammed in this corner here. So you basically have to just drop the bolt and make sure it lines up with the chamber, and then let it go. And once it's chambered, There you go. Open. Whoop. Bolt stop. And you're good to go again. Now the adapter. Once again, you have to set your sights to uh, 100. And then you have this. Here they have got uh, some elastic. Normally it would have been a very long thin coil spring but uh, sadly it disappeared from this so I've done the best I can. Um, anyway there's a slot here which allows you to put mount the adapter on the open sights on the 100 meter setting and then there are little hooks on the either side of the elastic which fit in hook in underneath the sight mount That's one very hard to do with a camera between your hands like so so the sight is perching a little bit so it's it's not as stable as the the ring in the other one. Um, you've got windage and elevation adjustments here with screws and as before you've got to take a couple of shots and uh, and line up your uh, your sights. So the rifle is now ready to go so uh, as before I'll take it upstairs I'll shoot it in first and then uh, do a series of five and see how it goes.
So there we go. Bang on. You can see why I like this system. So as you can see, it's very, very practical. Um, the manual says that at room temperature, you can get about 50 shots out of one CO2 cartridge. So you can have a, a good training session uh, up to 10 meters as usual. Um, this system basically could be used on any AK uh, type firearm. Um, let's face it, that's what the SIG 550 is. Um, because you need the space for the, uh, for the gas cartridge. Um, probably difficult to do on an AR type platform, but maybe clever people out there, maybe you can do it. Now this isn't produced anymore, which is a great shame. However, it was patented in the eighties. So, um, yeah, now it's probably out there free prior art. So anybody got some machine tools, why don't you have a crack and get this back into production because, uh, it's a real great gadget. Anyway, this ends the uh, official Swiss uh, subcaliber insert series. Thank you for watching and uh, thank you for your, all your support and we'll see you next time.